Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're heading deep into one of the planet's toughest spots, really remote, really extreme, Siberia. And we're looking at something incredible, the formal recognition of a new great ape, the Siberian ape, Simia Siberica. It really challenges what we thought we knew. It really does. This isn't just, you know, ticking off another species. It fundamentally questions where complex life, especially primates like great apes, can actually survive and thrive. Right. Breaking the mold. Completely. Yeah. Which is our understanding of biological limits. Okay, so let's get into how this came about. For years, maybe generations, indigenous groups there, like the Ivenki and Nanai, they had stories, tales of a, a, a snow walker or sometimes forest brother. Mm, often dismissed as folklore. Exactly. But it turns out these were actual observations, really detailed accounts of this primate. So they knew. But how did science finally catch up? How did it go from story to species? Let's paint a picture. It stands, what, 5.5 to 6.5 feet tall. So <laughs> a big, uh, very muscular ape. A substantial animal, yeah. And built for the cold, which is the wild part for a primate. It has this super thick fur coat, triple layered, dense white fur, amazing insulation. Crucial for those temperatures. And under the fur, black skin for thermal retention, right? Like polar bears or other Arctic mammals. That's right, maximizing heat absorption. And the eyes, they have that reflective layer, the tachytum lucidum, helps them see in low light, makes sense for the long winters and dense forests. Essential for navigating that environment. Locomotion too, it's mixed. They knuckle walk like a gorilla sometimes. Yes, but they're also very adept bipeds. Right, walking upright, which helps them move across snow, ice, uneven ground, very versatile. And these features taken together they're not just adaptations. They represent a whole new evolutionary path for great ape survival in extreme cold. It really expands our view of primate resilience, showing mastery of conditions we never thought possible for them. Okay, physically amazing. But what about upstairs? What have the recent teams found about their intelligence compared to, say, chimps or gorillas? Ah, this is where it gets really fascinating. Field teams just in the last couple of years, 2023, 2024, they've actually documented tool use and mimicry. Mimicry. Of what like, it's still being studied, but potentially vocalizations or behaviors of other animals, maybe even human sounds heard from a distance, and uh, a basic sort of gestural communication. Some interpret it as a proto-sign language. Wow. So, yeah, what's the takeaway for you listening? Maybe it's just that sense of wonder. Consider what else might be out there, you know? What other hidden lives or unknown adaptations are waiting in the wild corners of the world? Keep exploring. Keep questioning. Keep diving deep.